guys, I want to talk to you about a product called Expro. And I think you guys are going to be amazed at this one because it is long-lasting local anesthetic. And when I say long-lasting, it lasts two to three days. And if you're doing all on X cases or you're doing whizzies, this has been the biggest change in my practice in years. And how it works is it takes bupivacaine and it wraps it in a fat cell. And so when you inject this, it stays put for a long time. And you can't use it as a block. You can only do it as an infiltration. And the way we use it is that when we do a, a case where we open up a can out on people, we like all on X or Wizzy Teeth, you know, we're taking out wisdom teeth, and we know that patient is going to have some discomfort, then what we like to do is offer them Expirel. And we say, hey, listen, we're getting ready to do a rather invasive procedure, and we find that people that opt to do the Expirel afterwards, they heal a little bit nicer. And people are like, okay, sign me up, right? So the way it works is you pull this, you pull this Expirel up in a large cannula uh, syringe to start with because it doesn't flow well. It's, um, it's rather viscous, so it doesn't flow through a small cannula very well. And after the procedure's done and you have primary closure and everything's closed up, give them a few minutes to clot. So give them 10 to 12 minutes to clot because if you inject this under the skin, under the flap right away, It'll just flow across the periosteum and come out your suture line, and it doesn't really help. So you've got to get a little bit of a blood clot to start. Then go in and infiltrate. And I have a tendency to infiltrate kind of where the same place as I would um, if I was doing the teeth that I'm taking out. So, for instance, I'll, I'll start on the buckle and the lower, and I'll work my way out to like three sites on each side. And on the upper, I'll kind of do the same thing. And typically, I put a little bit under the nose because... You know, if you get the nose numb, the entire face feels numb, right? So if the patient's numb here, they're like, my whole face is numb. So just a little bit under the nose, and it has been amazing. Patients come back, and they go, you know, for an all on X, I see them the next day, and they go, yeah, I'm still numb. I said, perfect. That's what we want. We want you to be comfortable for two to three days. And it just really helps get patients away from the initial trauma, gives them some time for their body to do the natural process of healing, and it makes a, it makes a great healing experience for the patient, which is can be a, a marketing advantage for you in your practice because then they become a raving fan and they say, my doctor gave me this afterwards and you know maybe you get some new clients that way. But it also makes you feel good about being able to help people and not have them call you back and be in a lot of pain where you know that you didn't do anything wrong, but they just have to go through the healing process and it takes a while for that to happen. So Expirel has been a game changer in my practice. I encourage everybody to give it a try. This has been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, the Smile Engineer, helping you re-engineer your practice.